Second time, he's made a great defensive play at that end, at the rim or the backboard. And how about a little bounce pass? Looks like it went right through a defender's legs. That's uncommon stuff. Debo Davis, four into the game. There's an alley-oop, but it's a Mude on the baseline. They tried it once, didn't work. They go back to it. So good at finding it quickly in transition. And J.D. Note with the right read. There's not a box. And he sells it. You have to respect it. Wide open three corner bottoms and the biggest concern for Eric Musselman. Well, Texas a is finding the backside of the offense better than Arkansas has so far. Woo, what a look by Likes. He found a Mude. Quentin Jackson like a bowling ball taking a pin down. What a fastball pass. Andre Gordon. Likes try to tie him up. They got five on the shot clock. Baseline up and under off the top of the backboard and in. See this. I can tell you, not very. Hassan Diara in big time trouble. Throw it up. Use the backboard with spin. Point about not getting tired that Marty brought up. They, they go pretty deep, and this is a turnover. Here comes Davis. Look at Radford hustle back. He just ran underneath him, and he didn't cause him to miss the first layup. <laughs> Gotta ask. How about the running floater that hits the front of the iron and falls? And that's the way this entire tournament lost the ball, but it's recovered by AM. Great bounce pass and a flush. They are doing everything right, getting the loose balls. That two man game up top between those two, the most difficult thing to defend in this league, by the way. Uh, Tony threw that up high. That's a good bucket. Jimmy, you're talking about how AM sharing the ball so well. That was one thing Eric Musselman just emphasized in the Arkansas huddle as Tony flushes one. But JD Note, the best player in Arkansas, has three of them. Bounce down low to Coleman. Williams from behind, unable to get it and give Coleman the two. And whether the officials are very sensitive, not that they ever should be, to Note already having three fouls. Oh, what a tough shot. That goes for Boots Radford. The Williams in the corner, likes into the game. Note is out at the top of the key, waiting for it. They don't see him, but it's a Mude in the paint. Big trip here at eight. Davis got it, and a foul. Especially when he slides to the small forward position. A little bit of shake, but he gets back to that left hand. The glide, the slide, and the finish by Devo Davis. A lot more optimism in the Arkansas huddle. It was interesting. Eric Musselman said, guys, we got to rebound with desperation. Play like you haven't played all year long. I think it's on your ball screen defense. Like a &M just won that part of it. They won it again. Glass, yes. Watch out, Jackson. Mm. Shots, they keep making them so be it. But that ball screen defense right there results in the... The run out in the ram by people watching saying, why doesn't every team have ball screen defense like that? You know why? Because it's it's that dumb hard to do. And it takes commitment and fight and toughness. Another chance for Arkansas. Amude will take it. Right on! He's the guy today. Stanley Amude. 17 points. All right now, Amude, the second best shooter behind JD Note with the trail three. Defense isn't the pickup point high enough. Big Blue Show, we're here for one team and one team <laughs> only. <laughs> There's the tick. High over Williams, and that's an outstanding effort from Hassan Diara. J.D. Note has been kept in check. Only five points, two of eight shooting. Davis, nice. Yep, finger roll, looking for a foul, didn't get it. Hefner, head fake, good pass down low. Cash lays it up and in, and that's a terrific play by Hefner. Quentin Jackson, numbers now for Arkansas, three on one. Devo Davis kicks it, and that's a foul, and it's a bucket. They win their battle. Quentin Jackson can't get that one to roll in. Offensive rebound, throws it off again. Quentin Jackson, all effort. 100% will. And that probably sums up Texas A&M as much as anything. Just find a way, no excuse. Joe Lenardi says no. With a win today, they would slot behind Virginia Tech as the number 70, and that rolls in too. From Thursday, same team. I have to trust the, the watch out. Cash. It was wide open, and he went in and flushed it. The saw his breakdowns defensively in this game have been magnified. And it's their inability to guard the ball, but then just a complete breakdown, the seize part. That's a wide open attack by Aaron. And AM is playing as good a ball as anybody out there right now. 
Note lost it. Could have been a travel or a double dribble. Oh! Hefner has been a story in the second half as he throws that one down. Is a collie, but they have been all pit bull mm. in Tampa Bay. A lack of deep. Not today. Hayden Hefner's got nine, all of them in the second half. The other part of this is anybody that's been called on to contribute has Quentin Jackson as the dunk fest. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Principal, helping you plan, protect, invest. There's three words in Texas A&M practice facility, love, trust, and work. And that has driven them right now in Tampa big time. Bradford again wins what was a 50-50 ball. One of the stories too today, Jimmy, the Aggie bench has been enormous. Hefner, who's dribbling here and taking it with a bounce pass to Coleman and another dunk. And they're going to go over the 80-point mark or possibly more against Arkansas, who... The Aggies of A&M have come to the SEC tournament in Tampa and won three straight. They knock off Auburn, they knock off Florida, and today they take care of Arkansas. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.